Does this look okay? I hope this looks okay. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Trends Tuesday. Today's topic is a little heavy and I'm going to be talking to you about why you can't pass. Now before you get all upset with me and you're like, Riley, I can pass, blah, 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 blah. I just want to tell you that passing does not exist and that's what I want to talk to you about. In the trans community, the concept of passing really means presenting as a gender norm for whatever gender you're trying to present as. So if I were to say, oh, I'm passing today, that would mean I am tr presenting as if I was traditionally male. The whole concept of passing really irritates me because it bases itself off of gender stereotypes. Say if I was wearing pink or something more feminine, like a dress, people would automatically associate that with something that's female. Even though it's not, it's just an article of clothing and it has nothing to do with gender. In reality, I'm always passing because I am a guy, I'm male, and so are you to whatever extent you identify as. Passing is a made-up concept, and it really irritates me when sometimes people say, oh, I'm not passing today. I can understand and I can relate because it's something that I used to do and something that I used to say. I feel like it's something that I grew out of as I became more comfortable with my identity and realized, hey, it doesn't exist because there is no set way to be male or female. You can always present as a gender norm, but there's no such thing as passing because you are a man or you are a woman or you are both or you are neither. There's not a strict way to be a certain thing. Gender is a spectrum and so is gender expression. People who identify as female can wear cargo shorts and people who identify as male can wear dresses and it doesn't invalidate their identity any because clothes don't have a gender. There's not a specific way for you to pass. You can present as certain things, but that's all basing itself on gender stereotypes. And don't get me wrong, there's absolutely nothing with presenting as a gender stereotype if that's what you want to do and that's something that you're comfortable with. But if you don't want to do that, but you feel like you have to, like you, you really don't. I'm here to tell you, you do not have to present as a gender norm or a stereotype of how your gender is supposed to look. This is something that I used to do a lot because I used to say, I'm not passing today and I'm really irritated. I was dressing masculine, but people were just not getting the message and it was really irritating to me at the time. But then I realized, like, there's no such thing as passing. I can dress however I want to dress, I can talk however I want to talk, and nobody can stop me, and there's no way for me to pass or not to pass, because I just am. People just are. There's absolutely no way that passing is a thing that exists. Like I said, it's presenting as a gender norm. I do not like the term passing, and if you like the term, and you use the term, that's great, that's good for you. I'm just stating my opinion on this, is that I don't like the term passing because there's no way to pass as a gender because you are your gender. You're not pretending to be your gender. I feel like this is a sensitive topic for some people because gender norms sometimes make trans people feel a lot more comfortable if they can present and use these stereotypically male things or stereotypically female things. But in reality, they shouldn't necessarily exist. I feel like it's something that society is completely made up these things that are supposed to be feminine or masculine and that's something that invalidates a lot of trans people because we think oh if we're not doing this then we're not actually our gender when in fact it's completely the opposite. As a trans person I can do whatever I want, I can wear whatever I want, I can say whatever I want, I'm still trans, I'm still male, it doesn't matter if I'm wearing a dress or if I'm wearing makeup or if I'm wearing heels or if I have long hair. If I say I'm male, if I identify as male, I'm male. There's a difference between gender expression and gender identity and that's something that I will get into later. The idea that a trans man has to be so masculine and wear men's clothing all the time and just make himself so butch and like manly is so dumb in order for him to pass in society. I'm definitely going to make a video later on why pronouns are important and why you shouldn't assume somebody's pronouns. Not going to get into that right now, but that's something to keep in mind. Like I said, passing just irritates me because there's no such thing as passing because there's no set way to be a certain gender. Do you get what I'm saying? I get what I'm saying. Am I offending you? I'm really sorry if I'm offending you. I'm not trying to offend you. I'm just trying to talk and express my opinion. Am I making sense? I hope so. Okay, that was a ramble. That's all I have today. I just wanted to put that out there. The passing does not exist and you are valid in your identity however which you pursue it. So, yeah. 
Hope you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, you can make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about it or what you didn't enjoy about it. Give, leave me constructive criticism. You know, you guys know the drill. And if you want, you can subscribe to my channel. I post two videos a week. I post one video on Tuesday, which is this hashtag trans education series. And then I post another video on Thursdays, which are just random kind of videos. Like, I don't, I don't know what they are. They're just kind of there. Also, if you want, you can follow me on all social media like Tumblr, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram at the Riley Kyle. All of my links to that will be in the description. And if you're interested, I'm on a collab channel called Quite the Collab. The link to that channel will be in the description. And it's super fun because I'm there with six other people and we post a new video every single day with a new topic every week. And that's all I have. That was short, simple, sweet, all that. Um, I hope you liked it. And I love you guys and I will see you on Thursday, okay? Bye!